All right, this next problem is trig. And I actually, I know this is a little bit scary, so I started with a picture of a kitten here. And I know this is a little creepy, but I actually captured a live look at you being scared of this problem. Here's the picture. Oh, there you are. Okay, so, oh no, this is trig. How are we gonna do this? Okay, well the first thing we wanna recognize is that this is a product rule problem and with each uh, piece of the product rule problem, we have a chain rule with the 2x in there. So the product rule states that we'll call a sine of 2x is going to be f of x, and then cosine of 2x is going to be g of x. So we're going to do f prime of x times g of x plus g prime of x times f of x. So if we find y prime, okay, we're going to do f prime of x. So First, we do the derivative of the outside. So we get cosine of 2x. Okay, and then chain rule, we have to do the derivative of the inside, which is going to make us multiply by 2. So all of that right here is just f prime of x. So now we're going to multiply by g of x, which is cosine 2x. Okay, plus g prime of x, so the derivative of cosine is negative sine times 2x. And then we're going to multiply that whole thing by 2 because we have to take the derivative of the inside. So I'm going to actually rewrite this. So we have plus negative 2 sine of 2x. Okay, so negative 2 sine of 2x represents the derivative of g. And then we're going to multiply that by f of x, so we get sine of 2x. So that is our whole derivative. So really, we can just take away this plus sign and say we're just going to be subtracting 2 sine 2x times sine 2x. Okay. So now what we can do is plug in pi over 8. Here's pi over 8. That's the, the one we're looking for. So we get y prime. Let's get that, make sure I come back. Okay, we get y prime of pi over 8 equals 2 cosine. Now, I'm just going to do this to save a little work in time. <coughs> 2 times pi over 8 is 2 pi over 8. 2 pi over 8 simplifies to pi over 4. So we're going to get cosine pi over 4. Okay minus 2 sine. Okay, same thing. 2 times pi over 8 is pi over 4, so we're going to get pi over 4 times sine of pi over 4. Okay, so now let's simplify. Pi over 4, cosine pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. Cosine pi over 4 again is root 2 over 2. Minus 2. Okay, sine of pi over 4 is also root 2 over 2. Yay. Sine of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. If we do root 2 over 2 times root 2 over 2, we're going to get 2 over 4. So this right here is going to lead to 2 over 4. So we're really doing 2 times 2 over 4, which is 4 over 4, which is just 1, minus, okay, over here, same thing, we have root 2 over 2 times root 2 over 2, which is going to lead to 2 over 4, and then we're going to multiply that by 2, and we're going to get 1 again, so we do, we get 4 over 4, which is 1, so our slope is actually 0. So fortunately for us, we don't have to keep going because if the slope of the tangent line is just zero, well, let's first of all see what is our function equal to at the point. So if we go to pi over 8, here it is, pi over 8. Let's see where our function's at at pi over 8. So if we just plug in pi over 8 to our function, we're going to get sine of 2 times pi over 8, which we again know is pi over 4. So we get sine of pi over 4 times cosine of pi over 4. Okay, so that's root 2 over 2 again times root 2 over 2. 
So this equals root 2 over 2 times root 2 over 2, which is 2 over 4, which equals 1 half. Okay, so this is what we know. At the point pi over 8, our function is equal to 1 half. At the point pi over 8, the slope of our tangent line is 0, meaning it's going to be a horizontal line. So if we're thinking about equations, let's draw a graph. If that's pi over 8, that's our point at 1 half. We have a point right here. The slope of the tangent line there is 0, meaning it's, a, it's just a horizontal line, which I know that was a terrible horizontal line. It's hard to draw on this iPad, okay? Sorry. So, we have a horizontal line at 1 half, so that means the slope of the tangent line is just y equals 1 half, okay? It's y equals 1 half because no matter what x is, y is still 1 half when we look at this line. So that's our final answer. The slope of the, the equation of the tangent line is just y equals 1 half. Thank <laughs> you.